Actually, what I just realized is that we have friendships with one, two, three, four people. And I'm pretty sure I can get one with this guy, maybe. Okay, maybe not, but... Either way, if someone does decide to declare war on me, then I'm gonna get a bunch of free units, so that's pretty sweet. Um, so another thing that I've been planning to do, which I should probably just start doing right now, is, let's see, seven turns for the swordsman. I'm gonna send one worker, so I'll send this guy, uh, with this swordsman. And these dudes are just gonna go around the world together. And we're gonna collect all the wine, all the dyes, and the spices that we can get. Also, what the heck was that? I don't, I don't know. Um, give me seven, dude. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna get all the resources, luxury resources I can get, because I can make plantations everywhere, since I'm Belgium, that's what Belgians do. Oh, man. Well, so much for that wonder. That is just, that's gone. I was only working on it for like one turn, but still, that's kind of sucky. All right. So they're making a row. Let's just get some farms and some camps going for my new, uh, my new city. And I'm sending out these dudes together so that the worker will be safe and that he can, you know, make or whatever thing he wants without there being too much of a risk. Also, they have happily adopted your religion in the majority of their cities. So, that's what I meant, alright? So I have more followers for my religion, which is good for me. And the guy's actually pretty happy about it, so... That's just kind of a win-win, isn't it? Alright, let's go with a... Caravan, we're gonna send food to my new city. Because they are doing... already doing terrible food-wise. Uh, what I could do... Is... there's not really any food tiles. Alright, take it back. There's nothing I can really do there. Except wait it out until that caravan is, is done. And I'll send him over to Ghent. And from there I'll send him to uh, Charleroi. And then we're going to get some food in there. Which is probably a good idea. Because they need to be grown. Great rider. A bunch of shit from Casimir and two Casimir ended. Alright, so the sort of the war deal. The reparations payment is uh, done. I guess that's just the, the way it is. Nothing I can do about it. Let's go make a camp. I still have no idea what the hell he's planning on doing. I mean, we are friends now, but he could still be planning a little war at any point in time. There's no way for me to know, so, I mean, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, compass could be good. Education. Let's get education. I want to get, you know, universities and the Oxford University, all that kind of stuff. Anchor what? I don't really like. Uh, it's, it's not, you know, to me it's really not that amazing, so I'm not going to get it. I mean, it could be pretty good if you just want to, you know, improve the size of your city thing as, as soon as possible, but that's not really something I try to do. Alright, give me your money. Thank you very much. Oh, he declared war in Vatican City, so that was his plan after all. He was planning on taking out a city-state, which will lead to a lot of, uh, denouncements. Probably right away, I don't even know. Either way, I'm not getting involved in that mess. Okay, because that's just not gonna go well. Everybody's gonna be really angry at the guy. And I suppose that means that friendship between the two of us will be... ...impossible. So, you know, that's just great. Did you... Oh, Granary's still... Okay. I think I'll just wait until the monument is done and I have my caravan set up. And if the food is still shit, I'll probably just buy a granary and get that, you know, three extra food. Yeah, no. That is a stupid idea. How about you just pay me extra money, you... Thank you very much. There's no need to keep lowballing me, it's a little offensive. Cahokia wants Hinduism. Okay, well, time to bill. This place is overrun with, uh, the Polish. There we go. We're just gonna go this way, and I'm pretty sure I saw some spices here. Although, yep, they belong to the Inca now, but we can get those, we can get those dyes. And, you know, that's gonna be really good, because that's eight happiness for me. So, I mean, that's just a good thing. Four turns, we're gonna get the iron. Alright, so let's just get the monument. That should speed it up considerably. And that's just good all around. 
my main thing is, since I'm trying to win a, um, you know, a, a victory of, uh, diplomatic victory, if that's what I was trying to say, um, all I really need is lots of cash, I believe. Alright, city connection has been established. What up, Poland? I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not super happy about it. Because, well, he's no longer number one in soldiers, so, I mean, that's good for me. Stick around a little bit. Uh, caravan, yes. We could send food to Ghent. Uh, or sh my new city, but I would prefer to actually go from here to there, just in case Poland attacks. So, go to Ghent. And we're gonna send you to Charlie. I'm just gonna call it Charlie from now on. We're gonna send you over there. And, let's see, a library, a shrine. Definitely kinda wanna go with a granary. So let's just get that done. A garden, a temple, aqueduct. Let's go with an aqueduct. Yes, please. Also, Machu Picchu in one turn. Holy shit. I didn't even realize. Okay. Let's go make a farm here. That should be pretty good. Please give me Machu Picchu, though. Because that is pretty huge for me. I have a lot of city connections, so that is a pretty considerable amount of money. No. I wasn't really planning on going to war with anyone. Holy shit. Cusco is already touching Kaopang. So there's gonna be some issues there, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. Sweet. Machu Picchu is done. Alright, so let's see. They got Tintin as a spy. Are you kidding me? That's just a comic book character. Alright. You're going over to Warsaw as a spy. Because we need to know what the hell these guys are up to. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I should have seen that one coming. Alright, I'm going to send him to the new city to kind of protect it and send food over there as well. Alright, we got the pressure going, which is good. Uh, yep, just keep going. Bring that worker with you. I want my luxuries. Alright, so we could get a... What I really want is a cargo ship, but... I think we would need something like a harbor uh, before we can really do that, and we're not quite there yet, so... Let's see, workshop. Workshop is obviously always a good choice, but... Yeah, let's go with a workshop. Let's go with that. A market? Or a coliseum. Let's go with market, get some cash. It's never really bad, is it? Why are you twinkling? Okay, it's because of that. Alright, just chill here. You're you're good. You don't need to do nothing. Alright, so four turns are gonna grow. I love the the possibility of sending caravans to your own cities because that it makes everything so much better. At least we're growing quite a bit. Gend has actually grown the fastest, and it's my uh my third city. Yeah, alright, let's be buds. I see no reason not to be buds, although I'm guessing a lot of these friendships are probably going to fall apart. And I'm not looking forward to it. Alright, Zanzibar is really happy about it. Look at that. 70 stuff. That is really good. So they're giving me a bunch of stuff, I'm guessing. Go over there. You go wipe them out, please. Alright, keep it going. I want to get my luxuries before they're stolen away. Uh, yes, cut down the forest, please. Wait, we can still have a camp, though, can't we? Pretty sure we can. Alright, sit in the city. Protect it a little bit. You know, if there's any barbarians... Actually, there are barbarians, so let's go deal with those. Because they're annoying. Three turns for them to grow. We're earning 70 gold a turn already, which is really good. Most of that, obviously, is from other civs. A bunch from religion. The city connections is 28 gold. Nope. Not doing it. So that's actually really cool, because if I do get into a war, I can just buy my way out of it, hopefully. That's gonna be pretty good. Are you taking Vatican City yet? You're being very slow about it. Really just, you know, taking your time and all that. Alright, here we go. Take them out. How's that a defeat? That's just a fine, normal attack. Also, this place is so annoying to walk through. It's... Frickin' slow. Alright, here you go. Next turn. Alright, so we just cleared two forests in one turn, I believe, so... Granary in one turn. Sweet. And now the deer give me some extra... 
foodies. Very good. Very good. Wait, he's sending a caravan from here all the way to Antwerp. That is an interesting choice. Okay, get rid of those guys because they're annoying. Because we're going to have to bring in some extra help. I'll take the victory. You know, those are usually good. Okay. My youngest city. What you need most of all is food and, um, well, just food mostly. Maybe a bit of culture. So I'm going to go ahead and actually make the, uh, the water mill. Keep going. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's Cahokia. Look at that. Very good. All right, you're done. You finished your job. Go do other things. Also, can we... Oh, let's see. This is the wrong city. Can we purchase stuff like pagodas? Oh, monasteries. There you go. Wine and incense. We got one. Why? We got two there. So we probably have a pagoda, pagoda here. We do not. A monastery, not pagoda. I keep saying that. All right. Just get this bad boy. Because that is four extra culture. So, I mean, this is good. Monastery... Each source, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's just, that's just really good. Awesome. All right, so let's see. We got one wine over here. Yeah, we're probably going to get that one, too. I hope it counts, that one, although I very much doubt it. Just, you know, want to get another monastery. I just like them. I just like all the faith buildings. They're sweet. Oh, shit. All right, Kazmir's construction on Humbra. My city has grown. It's become religious, which is good. That quick, too. They've just been founded, and they're already all religious and shit. Very good. Um, how does Brussels not have a water mill yet? Uh, anyway, let's go with an empty theater, I want to say. I still want to make that, but it's just not in, uh, in, the, in the cards right now. Here we go. Go to get those luxuries. All right, go kill these dudes. How is a pikeman that much stronger than a swordsman? I will never understand. I honestly just will not. Okay, kill. Kill. End. Thank you very much. I don't think any city state is actually going to thank me for this one. Uh, which is sad, because I'd love to actually be friends with Vaduz. They're looking for a great writer. We are not working on any writers at all because we're food focused. Now we're working on one. All right. Let's so leave it default. Should be good. These guys just have the worst food supplies. You know what? Uh, after we finish the water mill, I'm going to be sending some food over to Antwerp as well because their growth is quite troubling. It's very slow. Something needs to be done. And I'm pretty sure that you basically get more from Brussels, or maybe that's only after you get, like, a, a, uh, a hospital and stuff like that. I'm not even sure. I just feel like you always get more from your capital city. All right, so purchase monastery. Yes, please, because that's a lot of extra faith and culture. Keep going. We got gems over there. You know, those are all... They're over there, there's just a lot of great places to settle. It's just that I don't really want to make a fifth city right now. It seems like a bit of a... Uh, well, I, I mean, suppose I could. I do have 17 happiness. I could settle... Like, on this river. Well, it's too close to the... Um, <clears throat> to those dudes. But I could settle over here, as I was planning originally. So to keep an eye on Poland at all times. It might not be the worst idea. Might not be. He's got a settler right here. If he settles somewhere right here, I'm going to freak out. He's probably going to try and steal this ivory from me. I would not put it past him. All right, keep keep going. You're almost home, buddy. Sit over there. Sit over there. We're playing very defensively. And that is a conscious decision. All right, very good. Alright, just ignore the knight. I have no idea why he's just standing there like an idiot. Really, just spawn an archer. That, okay. You know, that seems fair. Alright. Let's go. We're going to have to deal with this archer first of all, so let's do that. One more turn for them. Also, education. Also, this city and the market and also workshop. That's a lot of stuff in one turn, man. That is good. Also, we have almost 2,000 gold. We should probably start spending it sometime soon. 
Just a thought. Because, you know, it's a lot of money. 